You have to do your, we have to do our best to generate political space for us in order to feel our way forward and go as far as politically can be supported. Let me explain what I mean. I think the concerns which people have about foreignness, about dilution, about values, about social impact, these are not unreasonable concerns. Because we are a society, we are a country. It's not just a city, you know. You're London, you have the whole of Great Britain. So London, it, you don't have to mobilize an army and go and fight. And um, there is a whole uh, population which is outside of London. And London is cosmopolitan, it, diverse. It can have a majority of foreigners. Uh, it's still the capital of uh, Great Britain. But Singapore, the city, is the country. So the city itself, the cohesion must be there, the sense of the values must be there, the sense of identity must be there. The way Singapore works, there's a certain way we have socialized with one another. We are Singaporeans together, as the song goes. When you bring in foreigners, that, in some ways you enrich that, in many ways, you enrich that. They bring talent, they bring experience, they bring a different perspective on things. But at the same time, you, you dilute that, at least temporarily, because they don't have the same background. You can come from China, but you're not the Singaporean Chinese. You can come from India, but you're not the Singaporean Indian. And there's a difference between a Singaporean Chinese and a Chinese Chinese, and a Singaporean Indian and an Indian Indian. And I told one a uh, foreign leader this once, and he looked at me in puzzlement, and he turned to his interpreter and said, what is this Chinese Chinese? Indian Indian. I, I don't know what his interpreter said, but I gave him a further elaboration just in case the interpreter didn't convey my meaning. But you know what I mean, and it's a real concern. On the other hand, we need the economy to grow. We need talent to develop new things in Singapore, to stand out in the world. We need, and you can never have enough talent, we need bodies because there are jobs which there are no Singaporeans available to do, like construction. And there are also other jobs where there are Singaporeans available to do, but you won't have enough. And more must, and you need more. And if I can have 10% or 20% more engineers or technicians or um, healthcare workers, I can do a lot more things, which I, you can say I'll be more productive, but I can't take away 10% of people and become 10% uh, smarter and faster just on my own. So I do need the bodies. So how do I reconcile these two? If you look at a country like UAE, their answer is, well, I just bring in as many as I want. I have oil. I take care, use the oil, basically, to take care of my resident population. And I run the economy. And everything is done by, practically everything is done by uh, people who come from all over the world. But Singapore cannot run like that. So we've got to have a keep on bringing in talent, keep on bringing in numbers, but in a controlled way, which is good for our economy, which complements Singaporean workers and professionals rather than uh, you know, puts them out of a job, and at the same time, which uh, doesn't dilute my, my, my social norms and mores and um, uh, the way Singapore works and cause frictions and conflict within Singapore. And you have to judge that. It's partly making sure you have enough infrastructure so you don't have, that's the physical part of it. You, know? you have a big population where do the foreign workers go, they need entertainment on weekends. It's partly educating the people who come here that this is Singapore, please um, respect Singapore norms and uh, some things you can do in your home country, uh, please have a care and don't do that. Do them like that here. And you don't, they may not become Singaporeans straight away, but 
Yeah. You know that you are a guest and, well, be a good guest. On the other side, it's also on our part, getting Singaporeans to understand how important it is for them to come in, for them to be here, and uh, being able to make accommodations and make that effort to reach out with your hands and say, welcome, um, I'm your neighbour, I'm, I'm a Singaporean, uh, if you need any help, please let me know um, and let me show you around. And then hopefully you won't bump into so many things as you go around Singapore and break them.